You are tuned in to On Air with Chris Shanafel. Welcome back. You are on air with Chris Shanafel, and we are headed to Murfreesboro, Tennessee, where we can find uh, one of the top defensive backs in the country. He plays the safety position over at Middle Tennessee State University, number seven. Javante Moffitt joins the program, and uh, Javante, really do appreciate you uh, taking some time out of your schedule. I know you're uh, fresh out of meetings. Um, can, can you believe that you are now less than three weeks away from the start of your senior season as a as a Blue Raider? Uh, yeah, man, I'm really excited. I mean, it's, it's been a humbling experience as we um, prepare, and uh, we're just ready to go out there as a team and do what we can to, uh, to, to win. Well, if my uh, research is correct, uh, I know that you sat out of spring ball as you had off-season surgery. Just overall, I mean, how are you feeling physically and mentally heading into this season? Man, physically, I still need to get better. Uh, I mean, far as the mental state, I'm just keeping my head in my playbook, trying to help the other DBs and guys who, who need some help and, and just getting everybody comfortable with the defense and trying to just play my role for the most part. I mean, all in all, I, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling better, and, and I just plan to do what I can. Do, do you mind if I ask uh, what the surgery was? What what would you uh, have uh, have done? Yeah, I had a 360 uh, label tear on the right, and then I had a posterior like 180 on the left. Oh man! And, and playing the safety position, we know that uh, you know you're, you're putting your body on the line each and every uh, play you're out there. I mean, uh, looking at what you're able to do last season, uh, pr- again preparing for this interview. Javante, I, I was able to look at a, a lot of your highlights, some game film, and, um, you know, looking at the stat sheet, 101 tackles, four and a half tackles for loss, an interception to go with one forced and recovered fumble. Um, you know, what what did you, what, what would you say you took away from last season, uh, being your, your junior season, seeing what you're able to do and, and put on film, and uh, really just the experience in general. I mean, uh, you, you've been a starter on that Blue Raider defense since your sophomore year. I mean, uh, although you, you, you have, uh, you're have you now uh, grow, going through this rehab and getting ready for uh, to, to, be, to be back out there uh, by the start of the season, I mean, uh, I got to think that the experience you had early on in your collegiate career has really helped you out a lot up to this point. Oh, uh, yeah, no doubt, especially with uh, Coach Schaefer coming in and changing changing the defensive schemes up and all of that. I mean, I give a lot of it to him. Just, I feel like a lot of those plays are just hustle plays. I mean, I could do a lot better uh, getting more turnovers for my team, but a lot of it is hustle plays and effort plays, and, and he's put a big emphasis on that, and I just ran away with it, and, and I, can, I can't thank him enough for that. What do you take pride in most, uh, being in like that last line of defense, playing the safety position where, you know, if a guy gets past you, you know, there's obviously – you know, there's nobody else behind you. There's a good chance he's uh, taking it to the distance. I mean, do, do you ever feel any pressure when uh, when it comes to just playing that safety position on defense? Oh, no, not at all. I mean, you got to have a different kind of confidence level, I feel mm-hmm. like. But, uh, you know, being the quarterback of the defense, I feel like I take full responsibility for, for the good, I mean, for the bad that happens for the most part. I mean, it's good, we're going to take it all in. And but on the bad, I, I wouldn't I don't have any problem with taking all responsibility for that. And, uh that's really that. Well, I gotta say, I love the aggressiveness that that you play each and every play uh, on the field, Javante. If I were to ask you, uh, as a defensive back, obviously a lot of people do look at, uh, you know, turnovers. How many interceptions does this guy have? How many forced fumbles does this guy have? And so on and so forth. What would you rather have? I know, I know, each, both of them are great. What would you rather have? Uh, an, an interception, picking off a quarterback, or would you rather lay a hard hit on a receiver? tight end or a running back to force a fumble and, and recover it? Man, honestly, I would say that, that feeling of picking the quarterback and just trying to take the ball the other way, just because I've done it less. Mm-hmm. Uh, just trying to get more opportunities with uh, forcing that this year, and I'm putting a big emphasis on getting the ball to, to Brent and the, and the offense and helping our team to win. We're talking with Middle Tennessee State senior defensive back Javante Moffitt here on air with Chris Shanafel and uh, Javante, your defensive backs coach, uh, Steve Ellis, I mean, he really is one of my favorite coaches in the country, not only for the, the product he helps put on the field and the way he gets his guys prepared for, but also the, the man he is off the field. I mean, uh, how has he helped you turn into the – turn? How, how has he helped you turn into the player that you are today? Man, like he would tell you, man, he sets a standard and he wants all his players to stand by it. With that, uh, he, he's passionate about his coaching. He's passionate about everything he does. 
I mean, it's day in, day out. You know what you're going to get from them. And uh, all the players can't do but love them. Uh, just take just take what he gives us and uh, just, just use it in our game each and every day. Heading into last season, Javante, uh, I've seen that you earned the team's Grinder Award for safeties, and you're also named Most Improved Safety as well. Um, that, that's quite remarkable, seeing as you won those two a, a year prior as a sophomore as well. Uh, what's it mean to you to kind of have the attention of the coaching staff to, to see that the coaching staff sees the improvement and hard work that you've put in in the off season to make sure you're ready come uh, once the season comes around? I mean, yeah, it's always a good feeling, a confidence builder, just knowing that, that they're recognizing your work. Because you can always get better, whether it's playbook, on off the field situations, whatever it is, you can always get better in your game and make improvements. So it's good when they recognize that. Now, what did this off season uh, kind of consist of for you, Javante? I mean, were you, you know, again, you're you're, you're recovering from that surgery. Were, were you able to do much to, uh, or, or at least up to this point, uh, to, to prepare yourself for the senior season? Maybe not so much physically, but how about mentally when it comes to watching film? I mean, uh, what what did the off season consist of for you heading into your senior year? Yeah, like you said, I was in the rehab, uh, still in rehab uh, a lot just. Then when our trainers keep going and, and working with them, trying to get back healthy and stronger, stronger as I bring back strength uh, to my upper body. But uh, just like you said, the mental part, I feel like uh, the playbook, standing the playbook, and helping the young guys, it's, it's just, you can always develop and help your game in some way. And I feel like just not being able to do the physical side of it has just transitioned my, my focus to another part of the game. And, and it's all going to help at the end of the day. Do we know if you're going to be ready uh, week one, or is that still kind of up in the air at this point? It's still questionable, but I'm going to treat it like I'm going to be ready. So, mm-hmm. so but it's still in the air right now. Well, Javante, obviously, as a senior and, and and a leader of the defense, I mean, big things are going to be expected out of you, and, and I'm sure you wouldn't want it any other way. Um, what are your expectations and goals heading into this upcoming season? It's your final year as a collegiate athlete. I know you want to go out with a bang. Oh, uh, yeah, no doubt. Uh, number one goal is to win a conference championship. Who doesn't? But uh, also, I just want to help my team win the best way I can. If I know if I play good, the others playing good around me, the other 10 guys, uh, a lot of things can go our way with the team that we have and the uh, program that we're building. Well, you guys are losing some uh, pretty big pieces on both sides of the ball, specifically wide receiver Richie James on offense, who was, uh, of course, drafted by the San Francisco 49ers, and then uh, cornerback Javarius Ward uh, on defense, who's really turning some heads uh, with the Dallas Cowboys. Um, who are a couple guys that we can kind of expect to step up this season that maybe the media is kind of overlooking right right now? Oh, uh, we got a we got a good corner coming in. Uh, OJ OJ Simpson, uh, he'll be a corner for us. Uh, Daryl Randolph will be another corner who, I, who uh, is highly favored. Also on the offensive side of the ball, of course, you know we got Brennan and a good running back in Tavares, uh Thompson and Terrell Wish. So I feel like uh, when you look at the boys all around, we have weapons, and if we could just use them uh, in, the, in the players apply them to our game and everything will work out. I just I just want to make sure I, I heard that correctly. You guys have an OJ Simpson on the uh on the oh, roster. Oh yeah, OJ Simpson, <laughs> yes sir. Man. Awesome man. I love it. I love it. Well uh certainly gonna keep a lookout for those guys as well. I'll have to go back and write those names down uh when I'm editing this interview. A um, couple more questions for you, Javante. Really do appreciate your time. Again, he's Javante Moffitt, the senior defensive back, hard-hitting safety out of Middle Tennessee State University here on air. I'm Chris Shanafelt. And, uh, you know, kind of picking up to Richie James, I mean, Javante, what was it like to kind of practice against an NFL-caliber receiver for the past three, four years in Richie James? I mean, any good practice stories between you guys? Uh, actually, there's a lot. Uh, that was my one-on-one partner. We uh, split up with one of one uh he, he definitely gave me my money to work every day. And uh, it, it was a grind. It was a strain, but I learned a lot from him. And uh, it, it can only help me as I uh, move forward. You know, and, uh, you know, a lot of people obviously are, are very concerned with, like, 40 times and speed. You know, you always want the speedy receivers. And I'm not saying Richie James is slow by any means, but, I mean, that guy gets it done with his route running. I mean, it's, uh, uh, it's yeah, really hard elusive. for that guy right there. And, you know, obviously when it, when it comes to, uh, you know, especially at the next level and you see Richie kind of having a little bit of success right now already in the pros, um, route running alone will get you a long way. Um, now, Middle Tennessee, you guys kick off the season September 1st, uh, about 20 days away uh, at Vanderbilt. Um, 
you know, Vanderbilt, this is a team that came into your guys' house a year ago and got the 28-6 to win in the season opener. Um, their quarterback, Kyle Shermer, threw for nearly 300 yards and three touchdowns. I mean, uh, what's the mindset heading into this season opener this time around? Are you guys kind of seeking revenge, or are you forgetting about last season and flipping over to a new page? Oh, yeah, we're definitely forgetting about last year. It's time to move forward. But we know the weapons they have. We know what they're going to come out with as far as from a defensive standpoint and offensive standpoint. And we just got to apply to uh, just apply and stick to stick to the process the coaches laid out for us and uh, let everything fall out. Conference USA is always interesting. You never know who's going to come out on top, and you guys are certainly going to have your work cut out for you this season. But um, And you don't want to overlook any opponents, uh, Javante, but is there a specific game you guys have marked on your calendar this season? Maybe just maybe that week three matchup in Athens, Georgia, to take on the Bulldogs? Oh, I mean, we, you know, obviously you, you you look at the big matches, but I mean it's all about taking one game at a time. We don't start with Vandy, you know. You know we have UT Martin, then we eventually work with Georgia. But I mean, uh, there's big games that we always notice and and uh, look forward to, and it should be a, a humbling and good experience for them. Well, as you said, it all starts September 1st at Vanderbilt. Again, he's Javante Moffitt, the senior defensive back at Middle Tennessee State University. Javante, really do appreciate your time. It's been a pleasure chatting with you and uh, really looking forward to uh, seeing how this senior year plays out for you and your squad. Um, obviously, uh, wishing you a healthy and quick uh, recovery and uh, certainly hope things go your way very soon. And, uh, again, really appreciate your time. Any final words before I let you go? No, I just want to thank you. Uh... That's all. Just thank you. Thank you for um, the experience. Thank you. <laughs> Absolutely. Hey, thanks again, man, and uh, best of luck. All right. You too.